Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here, and today we're going to be talking about something Roblox recently announced that's pretty interesting. Now, as you guys may know, there's a lot of pages on the website, some that are used a lot, and some that aren't used nearly as much. One of these pages that isn't used nearly as much is this page called The Feed. Now, as you guys can see on the screen now, this is what The Feed page looks like. It's very simple, and there's not much going on. It just says My Feed on the top, and then it's a list of all the status changes from both your friends as well as the groups that you're in. And something interesting about The Feed page is that Roblox actually decided to change it two months ago, where your friends can no longer post here, and all that's really going to show up is your group status changes. Now you might be wondering why I'm bringing up the feed page, and as you guys can tell from the title, this is pretty much what's being removed from Roblox. As you guys can see, yesterday Roblox posted on the dev forums saying that they are going to sunset the My Feed tab. The dev forum post says, as of this week, we will begin sunsetting the My Feed page on web and mobile as part of efforts to keep Roblox simple and streamlined for users. And then they go on to say, you will continue to be able to find updates from groups you are a part of by visiting the groups page. So basically for this part, they're telling you that if you wanna see statuses from groups, you're just gonna to have to check the groups yourself. They then go on to say, activity from friends will be viewable by visiting their profiles. And this is the part that's really interesting to me, which is why I pointed out that this is an interesting change. Because on the feed page, you used to be able to post statuses there. And if you guys didn't know, before the statuses were on the feed page, they actually used to be on people's profiles. So the idea that I got from this at first is that they could be adding statuses back to people's profiles. But then I realized that this could also just mean that they want people to check their friends' profiles if they want to see what they're up to. This is a really, really weird thing, and they really need to clarify this because this could really mean a lot of things. Um, I was reading it more from the context of the My Feed page in the sense that they're going to move the functionalities from the My Feed page back to the friends profiles. But honestly, this could mean anything from them adding statuses back to profiles to literally just changing nothing about the profiles and they just worded this weird. I, I don't know what this really means, which is why, again, I said this is interesting, but I really hope that they do decide to add statuses back to people's profiles because I think that was a pretty good thing and I really don't know why they removed it. And then they go on to say that friend requests and other notifications are visible from the notifications menu. So basically, they're not changing anything about groups at all. If you want to see status changes on groups, you now have to actually check each individual group. And then they also say that if you want to see your friend requests and other notifications, you have to check the notifications menu. So. Again, they're really not going to be changing anything, it seems, but I still don't know what they mean by this middle one here about activity from friends being viewable on their profiles. They then finish the post by saying, we are continuing to invest in better ways to allow people to share and receive relevant updates from friends and groups on Roblox in the future, and we'll share further updates when the time is right. So basically what they're saying in this last sentence is that although they are removing the feed page, they do have plans to bring the features in it back in some kind of way in the future. And I decided to scroll through the replies of this post to see if I was the only one that was confused by the way they worded it. And it turns out that someone else was actually also confused by this. As you can see, someone quoted the part that I mentioned right here saying that updates from friends will be viewable by visiting their profiles. And this is actually the original wording where they used updates. They actually changed it to activities a little bit before I started recording this video. But other than that, it's pretty much the exact same post as before. And this person said, what updates? Statuses have been deprecated and don't appear on profiles anymore. So this person kind of interpreted it the same way I did. And you can see it has 38 likes. So a lot of people also had that same point of confusion. And I also found this comment right here that says, does that mean statuses have returned? as currently there is no update system or shout system. But like I mentioned before, the Roblox staff member that posted this actually changed the wording a little bit and they clarified it down here. They said, hey everyone, I want to apologize for the confusion around this line. Updates from friends will be viewable by visiting their profiles. I'm updating this to say activity from friends will be viewable by visiting their profiles. But even after changing it from updates to activity, I still don't really know what they mean by this. Now based off the fact that they wanted to change it due to confusion, leads me to believe that statuses might not be coming back, but I still feel like activity from friends doesn't really make that much sense in the whole context of the My Feed tab, because the My Feed tab, in terms of your friends, all it really ever did was show you their status updates. So I'm kind of confused why this would even be brought up if it wasn't about statuses. I don't know, I'm really confused, but Odds are they're not bringing back statuses like I mentioned before. Now, aside from my confusion about this part right here and whether this means they're bringing back statuses or not, I also want to talk about group shouts because I feel like group shouts also are pretty much becoming purposeless in the sense that now you have to actually check the group itself for the shouts. I feel like at least with the feed tab, like, you know, some people would pop in occasionally to see if there's any, you know, shouts on their groups or anything. 
but I feel like having to go through and check every individual group makes it even less likely for group shots to actually be seen by somebody. Because I'm more than sure out of the few people that probably were using the feed page, not all of them and probably not many of them are going to be going through and checking every individual group every time they want to see if there's a new group shout. So all in all, I'm kind of curious about what's going to happen with group shouts. There was actually a suggestion I saw in the replies when I was scrolling through earlier that I found kind of interesting. Someone suggested that they should actually move the group shouts to the notifications menu. And I think that would be a pretty good idea. I just think that they would probably have to add some kind of timer so people don't spam the notifications menu. But I think if Roblox were to move group shots to the notifications menu, I think it would be a pretty good change and it would make up for Roblox moving the feed tab. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these changes. And if you guys think that Roblox adding group shouts to the notifications menu is a good change. And also if you guys think that this means that statuses are coming back. Because like I said, I really hope this does mean that. But odds are they probably didn't mean that at all. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.